new Circle Line Art School video. In this drawing I'll show you how to draw a hole step by step. The first step in this drawing is to draw a zigzag shape on your page with the larger points towards the top of the page away from you. The zigzag shape needs to be quite dramatic and therefore the points need to be quite pointy not too sort of blunt and the lines need to be pretty straight so that the 3D effect that we're trying to create will work better later on. So once you have this zigzag shape like an exploding star, larger points towards the top of the page, then you need to draw a little cross towards the bottom of the page near you. So then the next step is to draw a straight line from the inside point of each of the triangles that you drew in this star-like shape towards the cross at the bottom of the page. Now you could use a ruler for these lines or you could just draw them freehand. So at this stage we're more or less ready to start using some pens but I might just use an eraser and change any of the angles of the triangles if I think that they would be better at a slightly different angle so that the shapes that I've got will work when we look at the drawing from a low vantage point which is how an anamorphic drawing works. Optical illusion only works from when you look at this drawing from the cross so at the moment we're looking straight down at the drawing so the optical illusion is not working yet but the lines are in place so that if you had your eye on the cross just above it then the hole would start to make shape but the next stage that we need to do is to shade in various of the shapes with different tones and for that I'm going to use some Letraset Pro Marker pens which have various shades of grey but you could use pencils, 2B, 4B pencils would be great for this as well so I just need to finish going over all the pencil lines with a thin black pen first of all before I put in the tone. Now when I draw straight lines I tend to draw the line going towards me rather than going away and I also find it useful to look at where the line's going to be going to. So in this case all the lines at the moment are going towards the cross at the bottom of the page. So when I start the line I'm really looking at where the line's going to finish up rather than looking at the actual line as I draw it. So I'm really concentrating about where the line's going to go and that helps me create a straighter line. Once your line drawing is complete it's time to add some tone. I would suggest to start with one of the lighter tones first. So if you're using a pencil just press down not so firmly and then you'll get a lighter tone particularly if it's a 4B, 5B or 6B pencil. And so for the shading if you're using a pen or a pencil it's a good idea to make it quite dark and that will create a better illusion of a hole. I've made the left hand side of each of the edges of the hole slightly lighter than the right hand side so there's a direction of light and I've also made it so that when you look inside the hole it's darker than it is at the top of the hole so it seems deeper. For your drawing you might not want to make it quite as dark as mine. I made mine quite dark because it's on a surface which is black and therefore the tones seem to work quite well. So it's a good idea to think about where you're going to show the drawing and how it's going to look in the context of what's outside the paper, what sort of table it's on. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you find it useful and I hope you have a go too. Please subscribe to 